and welcome Tina McDermott here from Tina's Joyful Kitchen. And on today's show, we are going to make this wonderful yellow squash curry soup. I went to a farm to table place the other day and they served this soup and I had to get her recipe. It was just delicious. Start with the onion now. I'm using my, my, my um, instant pot. You can do this easily on a stove top, not a problem. I'm gonna put it on saute and I'm gonna start with the onion. We always start with sauteing our onion and I'm just gonna peel off my onion and get rid of that skin. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to my saute pan or instant pot as, as it is. Really good, wonderful olive oil. And I'm going to quickly just chop up my onion and throw my onions in there. If you don't already use fresh garlic, I encourage you to use some fresh garlic. It's all you have to do, mash it, get some frustration out and you know what? I'm going to put my compost pan right there so that I can reach it a little bit easier. Is that okay? All right. And same thing with my garlic. I'm not even going to chop it up small, just big old chunks, throw them in there. I'll do a couple of cloves. There we go. The garlic aside. Now I'm going to put some crunchy vegetables, which are the carrots. The carrots are a little more crunchy than the the yellow squash, so I'm gonna do the carrots next. Next, we're going to throw in our yellow squash. Our yellow squash, cut off the ends. They're bitter, that's why you don't wanna use those. And they might have, I don't know, just cut them off, you don't need them. And I'm not going to chop really pretty, it doesn't matter, big chunks are perfectly fine. Remember, lazy, a lazy inspirational chef. So we're gonna throw in our yellow squash right in there. We're gonna get our wooden spoon because wooden spoons, what good Italian doesn't have a wooden spoon? I think I have about 20 of them. Stir that up while it's in there. Next, we're going to put in some broth. You can use a vegetable broth, you can use a bone broth. As you already know, I'm keen on or you might know, I'm keen on bone broth because the bone broth is full of collagen, really good for your connective tissue, your joints, and your gut because you want a joyful gut. I am going to use, I decided to use a curry. I know I loved her soup, but then I got to thinking about curry and how much I love curry. And curry is simply a mixture of a whole bunch of spices. And there's a whole array of different curries on the market. Find the curry that you like, that pleases your palate, and I buy them in bulk. I buy it in bulk at the store, and I just put them in my jar. And I kind of guesstimate about how much I want in there. Now, you could always add it, but you can't take it away. So I put two big teaspoons in there, and maybe I need a little bit more later, but I'll taste it later. Now, with the Instant Pot, make sure that you seal the lid and that the nozzle is closed, okay? The vent is closed. The Instant Pot is telling me that it, it is on and it's going to take time to come up to pressure. It's gonna take a little time, it depends. If that liquid was really cold, it'll take longer. If that liquid was boiling hot, it'll take a lot less. So it's gonna take time to come up to pressure and then it's going to cook for eight minutes. The eight minute timer went off and now we're on the Instant Pot and we're going to manually vent it without burning ourselves. So I get a dishcloth, a very thick dishcloth and I put it over that and then there you go. You can hear it venting, stay away. You don't wanna burn yourself. That steam, steam will burn you. So use a cloth, do exactly what I did and wait. Once that comes off, we're going to pour, I'm gonna use the whole can of coconut milk. You can do half the can, you can do um, a quarter of the can, whatever you like. Coconut milk tames the heat. It tames the heat. So I like a lot of coconut oil. Coconut is antiviral, antimicrobial, antibacterial. We're gonna add the coconut milk. You can add how much you want. You, can, you don't even have to add it, you can just, make a coconut cream and serve it a dollop of coconut cream when you serve the soup. Next, we're just gonna get our stick blender, also known as an immersion blender. 
I even, I have the big blender, but I always have an immersion blender as well for this reason. You don't want to be transferring hot liquid to a blender to blend it up and then transferring it back. Too much work. Remember, be lazy like me. I'm going to blend this up and I'll be right back. There we go. And I went when I had this one, we had it at the farmhouse. I went for seconds. Is that, is that good? And then we're going to serve it with some toasted, um, I always get these wrong, sunflower seeds. I want to call them sesame seeds sometimes. And you're going to add a little bit of parsley. And there we have it, our yellow squash beautiful soup. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time. Thank you so much for watching the show today. If you love to find joy in the kitchen, even if you don't know how to cook, even if you don't like to cook, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below so that you can catch each and every one of my episodes. Thank you again. And until next time, namaste.